Today we will discuss on malicious software. What is meant by malicious software? Some of the threats related to the programs that usually affect the computer systems. These threats we can call as a malicious software. This malicious software can be divided into two categories. Those that need a host program and those that are independent. The former referred to as a parasitic are essentially fragments of programs that cannot exist independently of some actual application program or system program. Examples like viruses, logic bombs and backdoors. Independent malware is a self-contained program that can be scheduled and run by the operating system. Orums and bot programs are the examples. There will be a differentiate between those software threats that do not replicate and those that do. The former programs are fragments of the programs that are achieved by a trigger. For example, logic bombs, backdoors and bot programs. What is meant by in a backdoor? Backdoor is nothing but a backdoor, also known as a trap door, is a secret entry point into a program that allows someone who is aware of the backdoor to gain access without going through the usually security access procedures. Programmers have used backdoors legitimately for many years to debug to test the program such a backdoor is called as maintenance book. this is usually is done when the programmer is developing an application that has an authentication procedure or a long setup requiring the user to enter many different values to run the application to debug the program the developer may wish to gain special privileges or to avoid all the necessary setup and authentication. The programmer may also want to ensure that there is a method of activating the program. Should something be wrong with the authentication procedure that is being built into the application. Logic Bomb is the one of the oldest types of the program threat predating viruses and worms is the logic bomb the logic bomb is code embedded in some legitimate program that is set to explode when certain conditions are met examples of conditions that can be used as triggers for a logic bomb are the presence or options of certain files a particular day of the week or date or a particular user in the application once triggered, a bomb may alter or delete data or entire file, cause a machine or, or do some other damage. Trojan Horse This is a useful or apparently useful program or command procedure containing hidden code that when invoked performs some unwanted or harmful function. Trojan Horse programs can be used that to accomplish functions indirectly that an unauthorized user could not accomplish directly. For example, to gain access to the files of another user on a shared system, a user could create a Trojan R program that when executed changes the invoking user's file permissions so that the files are readable by any user. The author could then induce users to run the program by placing it in a common directory 
and naming it such that it appears to be useful utility program or application. The code creates a backdoor in the login program that permits the author to log on to the system using a special password. Continuing to perform the function of the original program that can modify the function to perform the malicious activity. That means that can collect the user uh, credential like a login and password or they can disguise other malicious activity like listing a program that does not display certain processes. process and also malicious functions that completely replaces the function of the original program next one is the mobile code this is a, is a program that's like a script or macro or other portable instructions that can be shipped unchanged to a heterogeneous collection of a platforms and execute with the identical semantics this code is transmitted from a remote system to a local system and then executed on the local system without the user's explicit instruction this code will be often acts as a mechanism for a virus forum or trojan horse to be transmitted to the user's workstation Mobile code takes advantage of vulnerabilities to perform its own exploits such as unauthorized data access or root compromise. Popular vehicles for mobile code inputs are Java applets, ActiveX, JavaScript, and VB script. The most common ways of using mobile code for malicious operating on the local systems are cross-site scripting interactive and dynamic websites, email attachments and downloads from untrusted sites or untrusted software. Multiple threat malware. This is the multi 48 virus. This can infect the system in multiple ways. This multiple multi 48 virus is capable of infecting the multiple types of files so that the virus eradication must deal with all of the possible sites of infection. A blended attack is an attack that uses multiple methods of infections or transmission to maximize the speed of contagion and the severity of the attack. Some writers characterize a blended attack as a package that includes multiple types of the malware. For example, blended attack is a NIMDA attack, erroneously referred to as a simply forum. NIMDA uses the four distribution methods. One is called as an email. And this is a user vulnerable host opens an infected email attachment. When the email is opened, automatically the virus will be spread into the system. Window shares. NIMDA scans host for unsecured windows while sheets. It can then use a net by S86 as a transport mechanism to infect the files and the host in the hopes that a user will run an infected file, which will activate NIMDA on the host. Web servers. It trace finds the vulnerable server. It attempts to transfer copy of itself to the server and infect it and its corresponding files. Web clients. So if a vulnerable web client visits a web server that has been infected by NIMDA, the client's worker station will become infected. Viruses. Viruses is nothing but a piece of a software that can infect other programs by modifying them or they can modify them to include a copy of the virus. 
infected co computer comes into contact with an uninfected piece of the software, a fresh copy of the virus passes into this new program. Thus, the infection can be spread from computer to computer by unsuspecting users who either swap the disk or send the programs to another over a network. The virus can attach itself to another program and can execute secretly when the host program is run. Once the virus is executed, it can perform any function such as error files and programs that is allowed by the privileges of the current user. There will be a three parts in the computer virus. One is called infection mechanism, other one is called a trigger and the third one it is called the payload. What is meant by infection mechanism? This means that a virus spreads, enabling it to replicate. The mechanism is also referred as the infection vector. Trigger that means an event or condition that determines when the payload is activated or delivered. Payload. What the virus does besides spreading? The payload may involve damage or may involve Benzene but noticeable activity. The virus will be having the four phases. The first one is called the dormant phase. In this phase, the virus is idle. The virus will eventually activated by some event such as when the date or presence of the program or file or the capacity of the disk exiting some limit. But this during this time, when the date arrives and the particular date, the virus will be spread into the system. Propagation phase. The virus places a copy of itself into other programs or into certain system areas on the disk. The copy may not be identical to the program version. Viruses often map out to avoid detection. Each infected program will now contain a clone of the virus which will itself enter in propagation phase. Triggering phase. The virus is activated to perform the function for which it was intended. As with the dormant phase, the triggering phase can be caused by a variety of system events, including a count of the number of times that is this copy of the virus has made copies of itself. Execution phase. The function is performed. The function may be harmless, such as meshes on the screen or damaging, such as the destruction of the programs and also data files. Thank you.